Welcome to the press conference of the 118th Canton Fair. Here, I'd like to wish you to have a pleasant stay in Guangzhou and also to have a good health. I am very honored and I'm very happy to meet with all of you and to work with you during the 118th session. And next, I'd like to introduce to you some basic facts of this session. After some busy preparation, we are ready for the 118th Canton Fair, which will be open tomorrow. For this session, we are faced with some profound adjustment of China's foreign trade sector and exhibition industry. As China's largest trading promotion platform, Canton Fair will accelerate its steps in reform and innovation and to improve the effects of exhibition and to play a bigger role in China's foreign trade transformation and also China's transformation from a big market player to a strong market player in the foreign trade market. And for, the, for this session, we are going to follow the instructions of the Ministry of Commerce about maintaining stability while achieving progress, innovation, and reform to make the exhibition more specialized and professional, to improve information exchanges, and to make more steps in building a smart canton fair and a green canton fair so as to make a bigger contribution to the Chinese foreign trade sector. And next, I would like to share with you some specific information. First, the total exhibition layout and booth arrangement will be steady. The overall exhibition space will reach 1.18 million square meters with a total 60,200 booths occupied by more than 26, uh, 24,000 exhibitors from home and abroad. For the National Pavilion, the overall number of booths is about 59,000 with 24,000 exhibitors, and it will be divided into 50 sections according to 16 categories of products. The number of brand section is about 11,000, accounting for 20% of the total. The number of exhibitors for the first phase is about 8,600. For the second phase, 7,200 and for phase three, 8,000. We will continue to open the International Pavilion in phase one and three. The overall exhibition space will reach 20,000 square meters with 998 booths, 47 more than the last session. And we will have about 600 exhibitors from 40 countries and regions including 12 national and regional delegation. And we will continue to combine the international pavilion and national pavilion so that uh, companies of the home textile section and home appliances will compete in the same stage. Secondly, we will improve a uh, trading platform and to make the exhibition more specialized. So our Efforts will uh, be divided into three aspects. First is to improve the smaller zones in product sections. For example, we will have 114 smaller zones in our 25 sections, and this is actually the first time for gardening products, lightening products. And secondly, we will improve the uh, sections of the new energy and pet products and also outdoor spa. We select a series of uh, new and high quality exhibitors to participate. Thirdly, we will strengthen the marketing and promotion of brand companies 
and it is also the first time that we've opened a highlight product channel and also established a brand window for them. And what's more, we have strengthened our efforts in inviting the exhibitors in the International Pavilion. And it is the first time that we've invited the National uh, Delegation of Australia. And also for this session, we improved our work uh, in countries along the One Belt, One Road region. There are altogether 353 co companies from 28 countries along uh, the One Belt, One Road, accounting for 58 percent of the total. We've also improved individualized services to uh, domestic professional buyers, and we've held many promotional conferences in different provinces in China. Number three, we have made some change in the model of marketing and to engage in targeted promotion. So we responded to the national strategy or initiative of One Belt for One Road, and we've focused on the Facebook account of Canton Fair to establish an international social media circle. The number of Canton Fair fans has reached three has reached 330,000 with a 40% interaction rate. We've also focused on the global search engine to improve uh, the Canton Fair targeted marketing and remarketing. And we've continued our video internet promotion activities. We have held uh, 15 video conferences in 15 countries. We also partnered with China Southern Airlines to provide some special air tickets discounts for the African buyers. Number four, we will continue to help our companies to transform, transform and upgrade. We will promote the function of exhibition in terms of uh, the forums and conferences. And we will hold a Canton Fair Design Awards or the CF Awards and to improve the functions of PDC to improve the information exchange of Canton Fair and to help more companies transform and upgrade. The Canton Fair CF Awards was established in 2013. And for the three years, there are altogether uh, 1,209 companies that applied for a selection with altogether 1,900 products. 155 products have won the Best of Best Award, the Golden Award, and Silver Award. So this activity has played a positive role in helping Chinese companies cultivating their new advantage of export competition. For the 2015 CF Awards selection, we have selected about 63 products from 52 companies, and the awarding ceremony will be held on October the 16th. And also hereby I welcome you to cover the event. The Product and Design Center was established in the 109th session of the Canton Fair. Currently, it has attracted more than 617 companies from 18 countries. For this session, we have the participation of 100 design companies from 15 countries and also 10 design talents with the total display area reaching 1,593 square meters, up by 11.6% than the previous session. We will also hold more than 60 conferences and forums for this session, and the themes will be smart household appliances, internet plus marketing, trade risk management, and design innovation. For the phase three, we will have the China-Australian Free Trade Agreement Forum 
and、uh, some other trade promotion through design by the PDC. Number five, we will focus on building a smart canton fair. For this session, we will launch an Internet Plus Canton Fair initiative to build a smart canton fair. For the 118th session, our efforts will include the following three aspects. First is to improve our mobile application. We've launched an official website mobile application and to improve our WeChat service account. Second is to integrate the online information, the on-site information service, to. Uh, establish a smart service zone or the Canton Fair Internet Center, and we hope to increase the efforts in data mining and behavioral analysis. Thirdly, is to have better guarantee of、uh, software and hardware upgrading. Number six, we will build a green and safe Canton Fair. To accomplish the target of 80% green booth rate, we will focus on some of the exhibitors along the main aisles. We have requirements for them that they have to、uh, have total green booth decoration, and also we will have some new security measures. First, we will improve our contingency plan and establish a, a contingency unit to deal with some disputes. Second is to improve the management of our badges, and it's the first time that we have a 24-hour verification. Thirdly, is to have a video monitoring system across the entire venue. Number seven, we will. Further protect innovation and IPR. We will provide a warning reminder to the exhibitors that has a previous IPR infringement record in our exhibitor system, and to help them avoid engage in IPR engagement、uh, infringement again. We will also invite some of the law enforcement personnel and some trade disputes. Experts to deal with some of our cases. At last, I'd like to share with you some of the important events for this session. In the evening of October the 14th, we will have the wine reception for、uh, the 118th session, and on October the 16th, we will have the 2015 Canton Fair Design Awarding Ceremony, and on November the 2nd. We will hold the China Australia Free Trade Agreement Forum and trading、uh, trade mat- matchmaking activities. Ladies and gentlemen, this session is also very important for、uh, the China foreign trade sector in terms of stabilizing the growth and adjusting the mix. I believe that with the leadership of the Ministry of Commerce and with the provincial government of Guangdong Province, and with the concerted efforts of our colleagues of the Foreign Trade Circle, we can make a better section. Thank you.